Okay, God bless you this morning. It's good to see you here. Uh, we're getting about the same number, it seems like, here in the last f several weeks to church. Uh, we know we're still trying to uh, wear a mask and, and sanitize in, sanitize out. And, and uh, I told them, sanitize in, sanitize out, keep the COVID out, no doubt. Okay, so bless your heart. Uh, I know Jim told me coming in, he said he's feeling real good. And uh, uh, I, so I'm thankful for that. Uh, we have others. I know I got a call from Sister Stacy Bass that her mother had uh, liver cancer, but they thought it was kidney. kidney, kidney cancer, but they thought it was treatable. And so they're keeping her in prayer. So keep her in prayer. Uh, and well, so, the bulletin says liver. So oh, okay. <laughs> okay. I might have, you know, I, I can get things messed up. Can't abide. <laughs> she testifies, you know. You know, there's an old song was stand up and testify. So anyhow, it's good to see Rhonda and Jerry back uh, in Amen. church. Uh, they're Amen. social distancing back there in their seat. Okay. Uh, so uh, bless their hearts and, and thankful uh, for that. We had others that needed our prayers. I know that we had uh, Sister Helen Gifford when we were calling around on the prayer chain had told us that her uh, Jim's uh, Jim's uh, brother uh, Bill. Bill, his uh, brother, uh, I was thinking, was it Bob or Jim? Ben. Huh? Ben. 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 Okay, Bob, Jim, Ben. Okay, his brother, but his brother, anyhow, uh, had uh, been having problems with cancer, but then they were checking things out and said he's really, really about eat up with that cancer, so they're just sending him home on hospice. So keep that family in prayer. Uh, anyone else this morning before we kind of get started? My surgery tomorrow. Okay, Helen's got a cataract surgery uh, tomorrow. Uh, and she's going to be able to see Tom in a whole new light. Okay. Wally has surgery Friday. Surgery on? His back. On his back. So. Yes, they had him scheduled for about the 18th, I think. Okay. Where, where's that going to be, Rhonda? St. Anthony's. St. Anthony's in the city? Mm -hmm. Okay. So keep Wally in prayer and, and of course, Ann and all the family. Anyone else? That Debbie Grissom, um, she's been in the hospital for a couple of weeks. She's got leukemia. And she's got to be there another couple of weeks. So. Okay. Keep Debbie Grissom and family in the hospital with leukemia. It's also good to see Greg's better half, uh, Sister Stacy. We've missed her for several weeks now, but glad to see her here today. Uh, again, we want to thank you for being here. God bless you. Let's start with prayer, and then we'll have some songs. Our Father, as we've come before you, Lord, we thank you for this day. We thank you, Father, that you're with us. You promised to never leave us nor forsake us, God, and we pray, God, that you just anoint the service by your Holy Spirit. Let the word be true, God, that we deliver, God, that it might uh, be heard. And by the hearing, uh, God, it might help others, God, grow closer to the Lord or be saved, Lord. We pray, Father, that you bless our church and our community, Lord, our nation. Lord, we ask you, God, to just help us, Lord, to show the love of Christ to others that we meet. Lord, Lord, we ask for forgiveness again, Lord, of daily fault, failure, and neglect, our omission and commission. God, we know that even our thoughts sometimes can condemn us, but God, we pray that you'd guide us and lead us in all that we do. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. amen. Good morning. It is so good to be here today, and it's uh, wonderful to have our pianist back today. We just need to continue to pray for her. Y'all are doing very good about it. <laughs> Well, um, you know, I know that uh, you can't always have everything that you need when, or think that you need when you're um, trying to worship the Lord. And I think that he's pleased when we just do the best we can with what we have 
And uh, did you come here this morning to worship God? Amen. Amen. And if you came here to worship God, whether we have this wonderful pianist or whether we just going to open our mouths and just let it all uh, fly, we're just going to have a good time in the Lord. Um, how about Heaven's Jubilee? It's 676. 676. Some glad morning we shall see Jesus in the air Coming after you and me, joy is ours to share What rejoicing there will be when the saints shall rise
children up here. Have we got one or two or more than one? Uh, you know that we, uh, Violet, while they're coming up here, why don't you mention the idea of our uh, uh, box for kids? <laughs> well, um, since we're not able to have uh, the children out for Sunday school, we uh, kind of got the idea of sending Sunday school or Sunday school lesson or sending the word home with them. So uh, several of us have been working on that, Diane and, and Mary and different ones we've called on to, uh, to help us to uh, design a take-home box, kind of like that food you get. You get call in and they bring out your food. We're just going to bring out the word to the children. And, of course, we're going to need to enlist these parents to help and grandparents to help. Um, we're, I think on the 13th, Sunday after next, we're going to have these, uh, these, uh, Harry, what did we sell them? What was that term we used? Anyway, a go box for Sunday school and, uh, we get some Sunday school lesson, something with activity, something fun in there, something, uh, maybe something yummy for them, but, uh, Anyway, we're going to enlist some of you that have children and grandchildren to, uh, uh, to take these boxes and deliver them for us. Uh, Sister, Brother Greg, you got those four grandbabies there, and we're going to depend on you to, uh, to take this word to them, and you can either help them with it or, or whatever. It's, not, it's just going to be a fun, a fun activity, some things for them to do. I know school starting and uh, parents are still a little afraid to take them out anywhere that they don't have to go. And so uh, I think that's a smart thing. But we want them to know here at our church, we have not forgotten about them. And that someday, hopefully soon, we'll be able to resume our Sunday school classes and, and all that. And that uh, here at our church that we love them and show them that God loves them too by just this little gesture. So um, we always have some kind of, uh, Mary them have to kind of watch me because I get crazy ideas sometimes. And so, <laughs> who was that? Who said that? I'll believe that. Okay. <laughs> but anyway, we're gonna, we're gonna try to send the word uh, to our, our, our children families and uh, share the word with them while while they're out. So pray for us as we kind of we're pulling it all the resources that we have and so we may even get some ladies to help us with some some masks that would be fun. So uh, just uh, keep praying and uh, we'll be calling you to help us if you'd like to. So Okay, amen. Thank you, Father. <laughs> so keep praying about that. We're going to try to uh, find something different. We know we're doing the videos to try to be sure we can get it out. We've heard so many people uh, that have contacted us and say, keep it up now, keep it up. Uh, and some that uh, have been real regular in church but just can't because of the condition, pre-existing conditions, cannot uh, risk coming out as other than maybe a doctor or get a little food. But anyhow, we're thankful that uh, we have these that are, will be working and will be delivering uh, for our kids some fun, fun things from their church. So it's good to see y'all here this morning. Uh, you got started in school, right? Yeah. And uh, is it fun? No. <laughs> are you having a good time in school? Yeah. Yeah, sort of. Yeah, sort of. You know, it's kind of an odd time because kids can do things at home on the computers. Are y'all doing anything on computers at home? No, not yet, no virtual yet, learning. I know uh, some of y'all are, aren't you, Trina? Well, they're, yeah, they're taking them to school. To... They're taking them to school and doing uh, in school on the computer. Well, we know, uh, I told them everything I had was, was uh, manual. You know, when I was a kid, uh, I took two years of typing, 
And that's not even offered. Now keyboarding is offered that like keyboarding, you know, uh, ours was typing. And uh, so I took two years of typing and just barely passed both times. But uh, Jim, I wasn't very quick with the fingers, my little short fingers, you know. But anyhow, I tried and did my best. Uh, you know, I was thinking this morning in regard to our uh, lesson and message is about the light. And the light is something unusual because you can't touch light, can you? Can you? Can you touch light? A lot of? Sometimes. Sometimes you can touch light? Okay, is it light in here? Can you reach out and touch light? Can you, Dace? Can you even touch darkness? Huh? What makes you know the difference between light and darkness? Jason? Huh? How about your eyes? Huh? Does your eyes tell you the difference between dark and light? Yeah, your eyes tell you that difference, doesn't it? That's, that's important. A lot of people are, are born blind and some people go blind but know the difference between light and darkness. And that's, that's a blessing for us, isn't it? You know, so we can see, and if it's dark, we want to be really careful, don't we? But if it's light, we can see where we're going. But our eyes tell us the difference, doesn't it? You know? And so that, that's an important thing for us to be able to know, but we can't touch it, you know? Now, if we're in the darkness and we reach out, we might touch something with our hands that are, that's, we could touch that rail, couldn't we? But touching the light, we don't feel any light through there, do we? But you know, there's a Bible verse, Jesus said, I am the light of the world. I am the light of the world. And his light casts out darkness. So if Jesus is in our hearts, then he'll cast out the darkness because we see the light of God who is Jesus Christ. We see the light of God with our hearts. We don't see it with our eyes, do we? We see it with our hearts. Man, the Bible says, for a man, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. And with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. So we see the light of God through our hearts, but we don't want any darkness in there, do we? Because the idea that if Jesus is the light, then the devil is darkness. We don't want any dark things, do we? Have you ever heard people say, I'm afraid of the dark? You know they're really not afraid of the dark, are they? What are they afraid of? The devil, or what might be in the dark, right? Yeah, so we like to have, we go outside at the dark time, we like to have what, a light, don't we? Shine it on the ground. We don't want no snakes getting us do we? No, so, but Jesus said, I am the light of the world. You know what he told us then? That let your light, your life, that you believe in Jesus and you accept him in your heart, you know you have the light of God in your life, you're to let your light so shine. That's the way you live and what you say and how you treat others. And let your light shine so that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Let your light shine. If you let your light shine, that's going to help others find Jesus. If you let your light shine. So be sure and realize that we, we see the light and the darkness of the world with our eyes, but we see the light and darkness of the spiritual things with our heart. You know, the Bible says we're to worship God in spirit and in truth. That is our desire with our heart. Love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy mind, with all thy soul, with all your being, and thy neighbor as thyself. Let your light shine. 
your life. Yep. I mean, uh, I remember stories about people's lights <laughs> and how that they had to have a light for this. You ever hear of a lighthouse? Huh? And why, why was the lighthouse set on the big uh, uh, hillside overlooking the sea? Because boats could see in the dark. So boats could see. Dark, and they knew which way to go, didn't they? They saw the lighthouse. You know, there was a song about that. Anybody remember that? Helen? Yeah. Thank God for the lighthouse. lighthouse. Yeah. Jesus is the lighthouse. I owe it all to him. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're talking about today. Jesus is the light. And we are the light for Jesus for other people. Okay? Let's bow our heads in prayer. Father, we thank you this morning for these children, God. Asking those that they're here listening and those that will listen, God, on uh, our uh, broadcast, God. We thank you, Father, for the time. And thank you for Trina and those helping, and Emily helping to get this broadcast out. God, we thank you again. We give you praise because we know the light. And God, we know where we're going because of the light. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you, guys. God bless you. <clears throat> okay. Praise the Lord. Thank you, children. Uh, again, we want to mention to you that uh, we have 35 or 40 today, something. I don't know. I can't count past 10, you know. But... <laughs> Uh, but anyhow, uh, we're thankful to have that uh, the group with us today, and so we're pleased uh, that you're here. But if you're listening uh, on our broadcast, uh, we thank you for being here. We also want to remember we're not passing our offering plates inside the sanctuary. We do have the plate back at the back that you can give your offering there as you go out or come in. Uh, the envelopes are there. I think Rick finally found them, Brother Jim. He was asking about it. And uh, we have those there. So, uh, And if you want to, you can mail it into the church, uh, NBU 6109. And uh, also uh, at the Vision Bank, our uh, Free Will Baptist, Prague Free Will Baptist Bank account. So anyhow, we want to thank you for helping and continue to help support our church. And, and we we'll, we'll love the Lord and love you. God bless you. Let's sing. kind of <clears throat> probably a circus around our house sometimes uh, he gets up and he moves and then sometimes when he moves he doesn't move so well and kind of the same thing with me the kids don't know what to think about us and Emily told her mother well you know grandma and grandpa are home grandpa's in his chair and grandma's in on her couch and said they're always home so Sometimes that is uh, that is true, but hey, we're trying to get better, and we're appreciative for all of you who who did get out and you do the things that you need to do, and for those of us that are taking care of us in the stores and in the nursing facilities and and all that. We just gonna we're just gonna have to continue to pray. Now, if any of you have special knowledge about roses and some of those things I probably need some help I brought bought a rose bush last year and it was one of those bargain things I'm always buying a bargain something and brought it home and it said it was a long stemmed rose well it has grown these past two years and uh, Instead of what you would consider a long stem rose that you'd put in a vase, this one is probably about 12 feet tall by now. <laughs> so it does have beautiful flowers at the ends of these long stems. Um, I don't think it's supposed to be that way. I, I think there's probably something that I'm supposed to do, but as long as it lives and it blooms and all that, I'm just happy with it. But again, I'm sure that's not the way that the people that developed it uh, think that it should be. 
but you know we've uh, here we're the end of end of August and fall is on the way and and we all had hoped that by now this stuff would be over and that life would get back to some kind of normalcy and uh, Sometimes we don't even know what normal is these days, but we're glad that whatever comes our way and the craziness that's around us, that our hope is steadfast and it's founded and it's anchored in the, the precious uh, name of Jesus. And we know that all these things are in his control. We're just gonna have to trust him and gonna do what we can do and uh, I'm not going to run into a fire that, uh, that I know that I would get burned. So if I can wear my mask and I can keep myself safe and other people safe, well, hey, that's a little thing that I can do. Um, pray for me as I try and sing Roses Will Bloom Again. <clears throat> I planted a little rose bush. I tended it with care. Its buds began to blossom. Their sweet fragrance filled the air. But winter came and it withered. The petals drooped and fell to the ground. My heart sang it faded but I'd forgotten who had made it roses will bloom again just wait and see don't mourn what might have been only God knows They cherished every day they had and held memories dear. He never dreamed he'd bury love and go on to live alone. But as he laid his robes to rest, he looked to heaven and tried his Precious rose of Sharon, battered and bruised in cruel shame. Stained on the cross of Calvary, so that man might be saved. Satan cheered as he died, while Mary and the others cried. But then God raised him up that sleep and kept the promise only he could keep roses will bloom again just wait and see don't mourn what might have been only God knows how and when that
Rhonda, you got a song in your view? Anybody else have something to share? Didn't want to take an opportunity away from you. Appreciate Sister Rhonda Bass being here to play the piano for us this morning. It was wonderful to hear all that beautiful music, wasn't it? God bless. All right. Brendan, what do you think? I need some physical therapy. <laughs> Uh, you need spiritual therapy. I need physical therapy. Okay. Uh, but anyhow, uh, I told him I've got the Humpty Dumpty syndrome. You know the Humpty Dumpty story? Yeah. Fell off the wall. All the king's horses and all the king men couldn't put Humpty together again. Anyhow, uh, I, I think I'm falling apart and they're having a hard time putting me back, back together again. Rhonda, y'all know the feeling? <laughs> God bless. It's, it's good to be here this morning. Uh, God's been good to me all my life. Uh, and, you know, uh, uh, God is good. All the time. All the time. Amen. Amen. Now, be glad. You know, uh, uh, David said, I was glad when they said, let us go into the house of the Lord. And, you know, we ought to be thankful for that. I know Rhonda said, uh, see, uh, one of our family, somebody said, are you going to church? She said, I'm going. So... You know, sometimes we just have to have that uh, determination that we will. We try to be as safe as possible here. Uh, and we thank you for doing that with us, okay? Uh, and do san sanitize hands in, hands out, and, and try to uh, be careful with one another. But uh, we're here to worship the Lord in spirit and in truth. Now, I was uh, reading with the kids there. Well, not reading, but I was quoting verses with the kids there. Uh, but anyhow, the verses I was kind of quoting with them is found in Matthew chapter 5. And we're talking about light. I got to thinking about 